Uzikarim ben Enachar. Okay. So the Pasuk then the Pasha's boy, after the talks about Itzis and Sarnia going out of Egypt, the Pasuk finally at the end says, in the, the, end, of the, the end of the Pasha, Mamash, the Mamash at the end of the Pasha, it says, which is the idea of film, right? Yeah, yeah. This is the midst of film, the idea that it should be a, a ois on your hand and a remembrance, a remembrance between your eyes. It says the Ramban. This is a very famous Ramban. It's famous for because at the end, Mamash, at literally at the end, the Ramban, the Ramban says, "Min anisim magluim on fusam on the moed minisim anistarim." From the revealed miracles, one comes to understand the concealed miracles. That she ain't all them chelik b'tonis moishar abein achi yam she called verein of mekreinu kulam nisim. That a person doesn't have a chelik and a kain yisrael. A person has, doesn't have a real portion in in Torah if a person doesn't believe that every single moment is a miracle. This is the this is what our Bible writes. But in the beginning, he talks about this idea of tefillin and mezuzus. So he says like this: "It's a karen ben inecha." By the way, it's also another prop. There's a famous another in the same Ramban. There's also the Ramban writes, "Kakoyne mezuzah bezuzecha the cover of a pischay." Someone that buys a mezuzah with one coin and puts it on his door, "Kvar hoyde bechidish oylem." Already admits that the world was created. Be dinis aboyra that Hashem that Hashem has idea knows vashka chasay and vashka chas aboyra. There's vashka the divine providence. Vigam benevua and also in prophecy. <laughs> oh, this came? Okay, Basel Tov. That, um, excellent. And this is already uh, someone that, someone that has that. Someone that has that. Someone that puts a mezuzah in his house. Someone that puts a mezuzah in his house. Has. Believes already in Ashkocha, and Nevua, and prophecy, and, and uh, where do you see that in the mezuzah? Mezuzah is Shema Vahim Shemais. Yeah, to, 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 where does talk about Ashkocha and Achtas and Nevoa and Tzis Mitzrayim? doesn't speak about it. It's a, it's a famous question on this Ramban. <clears throat> but that's not what we're going to talk about. This Brisker Oven, in case you're interested. But let's start with the beginning. The Karim Ben Enecha. So if you look at the Ramban, it says this. She inuchu, the Mokim as the Karim Ben Enecha. You should put the film in the place of the Zikar, in the place where a person has memories between their eyes. Shu Reish Samoyach, which is the, the front of the, let's say, We'll call the frontal lobes of the brain. That's the place where a person has memory after something is seen and it disappears. So you what, what contains the person's what holds that person's memory. You see something, then you remember you just saw it. That's connected to the front of the brain. And then what you do is you have these rtsuas, these straight these straps. That surround the entire eye, entire head. Vakesher who achris hamoyach hameshamer luschira, and then the kesher is put the the, the knot of the of the shoroish is put on the on the bottom of the on the bottom of the like skull. on the bottom of the skull, which is the place where there's a moyach hameshamer luschira. There's a place where there's a brain. That's connected to memory. That's like the, the cerebellum, that part of the brain. Yeah, that is connected also to some type of uh, some type of memory. Basically, the compass is really where the memory is stored. But there's some that's called like the little brain. And the Rambam was talking about you know this is close to almost 800 years ago, 900 years ago. He's talking about there's something about putting it in the front part of the brain, and you actually so there's a physical space that you put the film in the front. That's connected to zikaron, connected to memory, and the back, the kesher shel tefillin, is also going to be connected to a spot in the brain that pushes on a spot in the brain that's also connected to memory. To the short term and long term memory. Oh yeah, this actually is actually by the way, and it's like motor skills and different types of memory. 
like uh, like the, the back of the brain is connected to like if you play piano to remember like a skill and the long-term memory. But there's, there's two types of two types of places that the brain actually it's a very complicated conversation. The brain the brain is a is something that we just start mamish in the last fifty years. People understand what the brain is. The brain is actually we used to think that the brain has very division of parts of the brain. That's the right part of the brain, the right front of the brain, the front lobes, the back lobes, the different parts of the brain that are connected to different parts. But now we know that the brain is actually more like a holographic image. It's really everything is distributed on everything. So even if you lose parts of the brain that are connected to memory, you can recreate them through other parts of the brain, You're creating new neurons. So really, the brain actually contains everything. It's like a, it's like a, it's a hakob. There's, there's parts that's specific, but there's also parts that are very that at least part of the brain actually contains all other parts of the brain. It's called a holographic brain. That's that's the way it's understood. But certainly, the Ramban is talking about something very interesting, which is saying that there's two parts of tefillin, which you're putting in the two parts of the two parts of the head, the front the front part of the head, the back part of the head, and they're both connected to zikar, which is also connected to to Hadas. and uh, we'll see soon that it's something connected to some type of uh, some type of intelligence. Okay, so this is this is this is what Ramban is, and we have to understand a little what this what this actually means, and something about the about memory that that tefillin is going to be connected to to memory to zikaron. So if you look at the next page, you know, we have the pages in front of us, which is the Baldi. So the Chum Soifer has a shtu tikkun of Chum Soifer that the first part he writes like this. This is the parsha's boy. Yishlam derech adurishal pima de isa. No, no, sorry, one piece. The oys can be understood in two ways. Which means either an oys means a sign means that we love ourselves very much. So this is a sign of our of our love. Like it's 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 an open display of love. So you you like you have a signet, you have like a, a, a ring, whatever. It's a display of love. Or it's actually the opposite. Because it is like a weakening of love, that means that you have to awaken the love. Memento. Oh, uh, right, a memento. So that's, which is going to remind you, which is the idea of zikar, right? That it's zikar ben enecha. Zikar means that you're being reminded, not because you don't want to think, because you, because possibly you're going to forget. So that's what film. The is also you saw. So this is the chesam sefer. As you saw, mishkayim betuma vayitzichem yisores kan liskar v'asnashem yisbarich. The truth is, the kali saw at that point of time when they left Mitzrayim were in a very lowly state. Therefore, Hashem says, What is it should be a sign on your hand? Yad keya. Madrega psucha means that the person is in a state of keya, which means it's like the, the weaker side, the, the side of gvura. And in that, that place, And therefore, it'll be a remembrance that you remember that you're going out of Mitzrayim. So it's an ice. I just want to point out from Chassam Soifer. He's trying to say is that it's not an it's an it's you're you're putting it to create memory. <clears throat> that means that it's not like a sign that you you're in a good state and therefore you want to remember it. So you have this momentum. It's actually this is a, this is a this is something to activate memory. Okay, it's like it's an activation process. Like putting on film is you're drawing down something. Just 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 to understand this on a very on one level. If you go to the next piece, the end of Chassam Soifer, it's another shtickle, but he brings down. This is at the end of the passage, the end of the Torah, the Parshas Boy, the Chassam Soifer says the next page. Ketilin ois l'shoicheach. Tefillin is an ois for someone that's forgetting. Chen kam ko yisbarach b'niach tefillin v'hir lo Moshe kesheh shat tefillin. When it says that Hashem showed Moshe Rabbeinu the knot of tefillin, that happened after the eagle. Sh'oz ho yimbakim sh'yishkach kaviyachot. There was a possibility of forgetfulness. And Hashem says, "I'm going to show you Moshe Rabbeinu Hashem here, Lo Moshe, that we said when there was a revealing, we give him the Sarachim, right? That's that Hashem is forgiving Klal Yisrael for the story after the after the Chet Egel. Hashem shows Moshe Rabbeinu the backside, which is the Kesher Shotzvil. So what's the Kesher Shotzvil? Kesher Shotzvil means it's the place that there's a possibility of forgetfulness, a possibility because Klal Yisrael did the Chet Egel, the possibility that they're going to be forgotten. But Hashem says, no, look at my Kesher Shotzvil, which is the the place that it's drawing." A connection. So there's something about a drawing down some type of schira, some type of remembrance, some type of memory. And there's also an idea of of this connection specifically with the idea of a kesher. Specifically connected with something with a tying that is going to help something with memory.
And the truth is, if you turn to the next page, in Chazal, you have the Shemen al Yoshkal Yechsar, when it says that you should have oil Shemen on, on his head, you shouldn't, shouldn't be, it should continue it. So the Gemara says that actually refers to Tfilm. And we know that that Shemen, Shem Shazai Mishlach Echlimud. All right, let's say that. Okay, so th- so this is the idea of that film is connected to to, to chachma, to wisdom, and and to moichin, to a level of intelligence. That um, that this this is the structure of film. Actually, the Barbanella actually said that the word film. Where's where's the word film come from? Film is a very strange word. What's the word tefillah? Tefillah. What's what's what does that word mean? It's not a Hebrew word. The Barbanella says that it's actually an Egyptian word. That refers to seichel and intelligence. That behind that tefillah is like to to. Something connected with a type of intelligence. So now we have to understand what that is, and for that we're going to go straight to Shark Columbus. Intelligence and the current are are, are, are going to be connected. Are the same in this case? We'll see soon. We'll see soon. Okay. So the Ari and Shark Columbus like to in its film. Mashaloida, it's on the left column. You know, Mashaloida is known. Shat film heisoid imal bra. That film refers to um, Bina. Ima is the mother, which refers to Bina. <coughs> That's on the sun. This is this this we're talking about actually Rashi film because uh, Rabbeinu Tan film is Chachma, but whatever it's Moichin, which means that's a level of intelligence. Now the film itself, you also have. Okay, so film is obviously the Parshias. You have the, the four Parshias, right? So in the Parshish itself, you have Tulon Shal Roish and Tulon Shayan. In the Parshish Shal Roish, what you do is actually you write four separate Parshish and you put them into four four little sockets, right? And then you squeeze them together, it becomes, it should look like one. But really, they're actually, Oilu Toit Tafois, right? Toit Tafois Chazal Adoyish. There's four separate Tat, Pas, whatever, Africa, whatever that is, the two Russian, the Kivar so you know that there's four slots. And that's, each each slot gets another another of the four times that the Torah speaks about film. Right, that's big machlokes. What's exactly the order? Whatever, etc. So that you're doing it four separate slots. Um, in the tefillin of of of, of Shalyad, you're actually putting the same four parshias in one, but you write them as one scroll, right? Not the four separate scrolls. And uh, there's a lot of different different reasons. For example, the Maral says a very simple reason is that the four corresponds to let's say to the four senses that are connected to the head. Like to the brain, which is like the sense of taste and, and smell and, and, and seeing and hearing, and the hand is connected to the sense of touch. So touch and touch is a singular, so therefore it's one, and the head is four separate ones. So you do for the four chushim, you do the, you do four separate ones. There's a lot of different. Uh, uh, the Sasemas talks about it. It's different in the parshias of the chumashim. So there's the four chum, four chumashim, which is that's that's the the elad varim is is a chazah is is a moshe ruach hakodesh namra right piatzim namra. And the, it's a repeat. So there's a four parshas represents the four chumashim, and the fifth part, the fifth, the, the fifth one that goes to Shalyad represents the uh, right exactly. The, okay, so save the one exactly. So in the part in the in the film you have like this. So you have, I mean, there's a lot of different things about the film. But for the, the, when you right away see the film, what you're going to you see is you see that there's different halachal moshim in the film, right? So for example, it has to be meruba. The film has to be square. Right. Even the Gemara talks about the Mishnah, you just learned probably in Megillah, that's an uh, ogle and it could be a smokless akana. Okay, we talk about what type of ogle Rashi says, as ogle ke ego is made, whatever. But generally, it's, tefillin has to be squared. The, the bate at tefillin, the, actually, the boxes of the tefillin don't have to be black. Technically, you can wear, you can wear white, white, uh, white boxes, or green boxes, yellow boxes, it doesn't matter. The bate at tefillin doesn't have to be black. The only thing that has to be black, Allah Lama Sinai, is the Ritsuas. Actually, the strings itself have to be black. Which side? Only the outside, right? Um, the Rambam says that it's noy of the film that the button and the Ritsuas, and even the backside of the Ritsuas, that everything should be one color, and therefore, since the only color you can do the Ritsuas is black, so the noy of the, the beauty of the film is that everything should be black, and that's what became Minig Yisrael, that everything, every, everything's black. It became very like a new Minig Yisrael in the last 20 years that people also do the other side of their uh, Ritsuas. This is a new phenomenon. But okay, so Zion. But that's the idea that it has to be black. So what it means is that in terms of the skull colors, the one thing that has to be black is is the Ritsuas. Okay. <coughs> the other thing that has to be black is the Isis. When you write the film on the cloth, 
right? If you write it in, in pink or, or gold, it costs a bazaar, it's, it's not, it's low yon. So it has to be dioy, has to be with ink, and the ink has to be black ink. Okay, so you have, just in the colors, you have, you have uh, black or tzuas, the klaf, right? Which is like the cloth of, of, of the cloth of the film has to be the, the, the part that's touching the busser. Like, you know, there's duchsis and the gvil, there's different types of, there's different types of cloth and you, you split it in half and whatever. But the point is that the, the film is like the, is the, is the part, the inner part of the animal, the inner part of the, of the, the hide of the animal, which is like a very white part. And, and generally the cloth is white. Okay, it's yellow, but it's like a whitish color. That's white. And then on top of that, you have to do ksav and the ksav has to be black. Uh, uh, the, the, the actual the writing of the tool must be in black. Now, the the button, the boxes don't need to be black, but already in Shukhanarach, that's what the Mechaber already rules, that we do we do a black. That's the mini, mini, mini arena, is that's, that's what we do. We do a black. We're ready for thousands of years, that's the way we do we do a black. So it's Negev. It's very irrelevant. So we, we have two uh, like extreme colors. We have white and black. Okay, so white and black represent ex extreme colors. We'll see soon in the Kisari what this was actually means. But generally, you can imagine white represents something that's transparent or clear, or something that's closer to insoifius, right? Something that's not doesn't have a tsura, doesn't have form. And black would be like the most dense color. That's why Ortichla and Malchus is always connected to like black or very dark, dark, dark blue, very, very dark blue, which almost looks like black. Uh, that's that's the article like it's like the, the it's like the night sky okay so and then it's even dark which is which is black so you have the you have the button you have the rituas you have the cloth and you have the and the ksav. those are the things that we have to understand there's other elements but they're more the more halakha and seen are, are connected there's a kesher also obviously because we're talking about the kesher the kesher and then the other stuff is are the other things that are are relevant to how you write it but i'm talking about the concept of writing Comes along Dari, and he wants to talk about these few things that we have. So he, first he talks about the Dalit bottom shalat film. So if you have four bottom of the film, four boxes, heim neged abal isis shem akem. These correspond to the four four letter names of the name Aleph Hey Yudke. So shem akem. Shem akem is the name that when Moshe is revealed, was revealed to Moshe Rabbeinu at the burning bush, right? Eka she Eka. And that name is connected to the bottom, is connected to the boxes. Then there's then there is Dalit Parshias, then you actually have the four Parshias, the four portions that you put in, right? You put the four in the Shoraish and the four in Shalyah, but it's always going to be four Parshias. Those four represent Keneged Oisish Yutke Vavke. So they, they're, they're connected to Yutke Vavke. He's technically referring just to the Shorosh. For now, yeah. Yeah, for now, yes. Yes. We'll see soon. Yeah, it's generally for Shorosh. Um, that uh, the, 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 the four, the four parashias represent Yudke Vavke. Yudke Vavke is already a shame of the Gilui, of a revealing. Right? That's what really, what it is. It's, it's like, it's, it says something. It's a Shema Yisol, V'hoyim Shemoy, Kadosh Li, V'hoyim It's actually saying something. So it's an expression of something. It's a revealing of Hashem's light in this world, a very particular thing. And then itself, this Chaf Aleph Eskaras, the name Yudke Vavke appears 21 times. So therefore, that's connected. What's 21? 21 Shemek again, right? Because Aleph Yudke is 21. So you have the four 21 times Yudke Vavke, which would be the 21. So then he says, then you have Eka, Havaya Eka. So 21, 26, 21 is Gimachia, is Gimachia 68. Gimachia Chaim. Is go out to your life. Vinika Chayamel, therefore Tfilin, the Tfilin Sharoish is called the Chayamel, the king's life. Lefishu Mitzat Ima, because this represents the drawing down of Ima, of Ima, which is Moichin, which is intelligence of Bina. So you're drawing down Moichin. Hanasim Tfilin Sharoish Deza. This becomes like what's being drawn down into the Midas. Okay, just, these are just code words. What Dari, Dari is saying is, that putting on film is you're creating new life for yourself, and the way you're creating life for yourself is by drawing down moichen, which you call it, which is called ima, into zaram, which is midas. You're drawing down intelligence into your emotions. Okay, that's what you're doing when you're putting on film. 
Therefore, a person that puts on tefillin is marich yamim, because he has life, he has chayim. And therefore, ki ha-melech hu Because melech refers, a king represents the place of zah, of power, which is the idea of of, of the midas. Represents the emotions. V'chayim melech, anisim shakal ma'avo, anikim chayim. So therefore, the, the melech receives, the chayim melech, the king becomes enlivened, means he receives from chayim. Okay, that's that's just as... What? What is that wrong? So Abba Vima, so he's receiving from from Abba Vima, from mother and father, which is Chachma Bina. Both. Is Correct. The, so that's what I said. So the the the, the Kaddish, the Zoya already says the Kaddish is represents Chachma. Yikriyach has Bina, Shema Vahoya represents Zom Malchus. But the idea is basically you're drawing down, this is just the concept, we're drawing down Moich. That's what you're doing when you're putting on film. You're drawing down intelligence. I've said this many, many times. It's very important. That in the Ari's language, being a super intellectual, you have to understand this, Dari being using that intellectual framework to Dari, what the, what the Baal Shem calls Chayas, the Dari calls Moichen. <coughs> In other words, what, what the Baal Shem says, we get Chayas, you get Chayas, what's Chayas? Chayas means alive, what does it mean alive? You feel alive. What is it, when you tell a person that's an intellectual, you feel alive, it means I understand. You tell an emotional person I feel alive, I feel alive. You understand? It's, but they're talking about the same thing. It means that there's a new drawing of life. There's a Chayam El, there's something drawn into you, and that's what you're doing with film. Is the fact that the the parachutes are written in white have to do with the drawing down? Yeah, we're gonna see soon. We're gonna see soon. Yeah, we're gonna see soon. Okay. Um, okay. This this is this is what. Okay. Then we talk to a little separate. It's not so nice. Okay. The shemaka anazam and the luda. It's connected with shem agla shemad. Hey, let's let's go to the next page. The next page. Also from Dari. So. That um, the left column. B'zei yuv natam tam yosef b'chin shinin. So we have in the film, you have to the right you have uh, you have a shin with three prongs, and to the left you have a shin with four prongs. Okay, what's what's the three of the four? So obviously three and four are seven, right? Um, but what do they refer to? What is what, what's exactly are these these three four? So there's actually there's a shin, you know, when you write actually a shin, when you write proper shin, there's three black lines and four white spaces, right? So that's the difference between oisach kika and oisach siva. And oisach siva, when you're writing, you have three lines, right? You have three black lines. But if you have three black lines, you actually have four empty spaces. You have one space, two space, two space, four space, four space, half space. If only you actually have four and mm-hmm. yeah, before and after each one, so you're gonna have you're gonna have four spaces. Okay, so that so that's the um, and, and these are the seven. So um, why do we put a shin there? That's also Allah Hamashu. We see we do that. We, we have to put a shin. What what's the shin? What does the shin represent? So there's a lot. There's a lot of a uh, lot of again. The Rebbe Bichai writes that it has to do with the three hundred days that we actually put on film. If you minus all Shabbos, all Yom Tov, you actually count the number of shin. There's all, there's other different understandings of this, but Ari has is his understanding of this. And I'll say very quickly before we get to this that the shin and the shin, the three and the four represents. Chachma Bina Das. Okay, so the Shin is Seichel, intelligence. And it's in Seichel, there's Chachma Bina Das, there's three levels of Moichen. And then we said, there's in Das, there's Das Chesed, or Das Gvur, right? In other words, Chachma Bina Das means Chachma is intuition, understanding. Okay, you have the glimpse of the idea. Bina is ready, in very simple language, Chachma is like the right hemisphere of the brain. I, I have the idea. Someone tells you something before you even understand it, I have it. This is the Chachma. The Bina is the left part of the brain which you dissect it. That's Bina, to break it down, to, na- na- to, to, to analyze it, right? So you're breaking it down, it's the left part of the brain. And then what Das is, I'm connected to it. So now I have the Chachma and the Bina, now I understand the information. A, 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 a cotton doesn't have Das, can have a lot of Chachma and Bina, can have a lot of intelligence, but they don't have Das. What does Das mean? They know that if you put your hand in, you know, in a, if you play with a knife, you're going to get cut. They understand it very well, but they play with a knife, right? Uh, a Bardas hopefully hopefully says, okay, this is I understand it. If I'm gonna get hurt, I'm not gonna play with it. Right? That's the disconnect. So das is the connection. That's like well, Adam Yadas Chava. Das represents always intimacy. When I intimately know something, that's das. So cotton has doesn't have a das, doesn't mean it doesn't have intelligence. It means they're not mukhuber, they're not connected to that, to that that understanding. A person that's intelligent connects to what they know in their head, they understand it in their heart, and therefore they don't act this way. They understand this is gonna be bad for them. That's das. So in Das, 
when you understand information, you have two choices always. Either you can do it or not do it. Let's say you understand something. And because you understand, there's two options now. Either you can take that action or not take the action. Taking the action is das of chesed. Not taking the action is das of gura. Because you only have two choices in this world. Either to do or not to do. And there's some variation between these two. But in, essentially, there's actually only two movements. Either you're, or, either you're going this way or going this way. Either you're moving out or moving in. right? Or you're walking or you're stopping to walk. Either you're extending or you're, you're retrieving. This is the only two movements that you can do. That's chesed or gvura. So because das is the place of havchana, of separ- of of of, of bchira, right? The main das of and If there's no das, you can't you can't make avdala, right? That's why you say atochen lo das. Um, you make a bunch of shabbos, you make avdala because ain't das of dolam and which means das allows the possibility of saying this is kodesh, this is choyel. So what that means is it's a das of chesed or das of gvura. So that's why when we talk about when when Ari talks about moichin, he can talk about it as chachol bina das straight up three or when he wants to say that this Chachma Bina Das is actually affecting like real a person's mitas, a person's attributes, a person's feelings, he'll say that it's actually four. Because it's Chachma Bina Das Chesed Das Kvura, which means it's Das Hanim Shach. It's Das or Das Hanim It's Das already that's coming down, that's affecting creation. You follow? So that's, 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 the, that's the two shins. So that read this goes a little bit different. Goes, over here, this is like this. Shin Gematria Lekim Du Yudin. Shin is 300. 300 is the same numeric value as the name Elohim. Now, Elohim is obviously 86. You just do the math. I'll probably get it. Man, it's 86. But we're talking about when you fill out the letters, which means if you spell, you spell, spell Aleph, you spell Aleph, Lam, and Pei, right? And if you do, you fill that with Yuds, which means when you do Hey, you do Hey Yud. So then, if you if you spell out that the Aleph, Lam, and Hey Yud, Mem, with spelling out the Hey with the Yud, You'll actually get to the number of three hundred. Vuh gematria. That's the same gematria of not matzapach, but almost matzapatz. Shu tamura shem havaya ba'atbash. That's actually yudke vavke. The letters of yudke vavke when you're interchangeable with atbash, which is aleph is changed with the tough and bays is it's changed with the shin. If you change yud hey and above and hey, you actually get mem tzadik pei tzadik, which is pei tzadik. No, which is the which is uh, which is the shin. idea of shin. Okay. This is the the reduction, so to speak, the reducing of the the letter the, the name of Hashem, which represents Moichan de Galus, pure intel, like higher level intelligence, the way it's being drawn down. Okay? The mean the way it's being drawn down. That's why it says on Tvilm. That, that's why Tfilin Shal Rosh could be revealed, right? Tfilin Shal Rosh, if a hoyu le'oisa yadcha, it should be only for you, which means you should cover your Tfilin Shal Yad. Tfilin Shal Rosh, you should show, right? That's what the Gemara says. Why? Because v'rok ha'lo ar'aretz, k'shem ha'shem v'nikarecha v'yorimecha. They're going to see Tfilin and Shem Hashem. That's right. What is the Shem Hashem? That's how Godlo, that's the Shem. Elohim Tfilin Shal Rosh. The Chazal say that's Tfilin Shal Rosh. And then he says, ki rosh ha'tev, sh'shem ha'vay nikra hu'ois Shem. Shem Hashem nikra is actually Shem. Shin Yud Nun is Shem Hashem Nikra. Right? Shin, Shem, Yud Kei Vav Kei Nikra. So that's the letter Shin. That draws down. Because it's connected to the world of Katnas, because Elohim generally is connected to Katnas, which means it's a, it's, a, it's a world of Din. Because it's a world of Din, what, it, what, it, what is the effect of seeing the Shin on the head villain for someone else? That's experiencing the het villain, they only experience fear. Because that's katnos. Fear is katnos. Which means when you're wearing the film, is the other person. The other person that's that's seeing the film is seeing the dinim of the film, right? And so that which means the moich and the katlas, the constricted mind. And therefore the the the, the emotion that's ar- that arises by them is a level is, is a type of din, a type of fear. This type of din, so it's din. But the person that's filming that film has something different because they're actually we, they're drawing down the shem hashem, and we'll see soon. You understand? So that's that's like the two the two effects. And then he goes through a little bit different that has to do with the shin samaches. You can read the shin samaches of, of the k'tayrus, which is also the idea of nullifying all the incense, which is the negative, the chalbana is the is the negative smell, etc., etc. Okay, covering the shalyat is also for yourself. Of course, of course.
because also like like we just said, that you should the same way you wear you no, know, but for yourself that you shouldn't see. Same way someone else sees the shalrosh, it causes a din for the it's it's it's, it's, it's yes. The so the shalyah has to be covered. Bro, is that is that for is that for Yenim or is that for is that for yourself? Yeah, that's no, that's for yourself. Yourself. Yeah, the whole thing is for yourself. You, okay. you should never see your own but Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's different hagim. Today, people actually don't are not so makbid with it. I mean, it depends where you are. It's, some people are very makbid. Some people are not so makbid to wear the tzol and really tucked away. But that's, I mean, according to the new Gemara, that's the way he's supposed to be. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Okay. So the next page is like this. So up until now. This this the, in the in the kiss area is a, it's a it's a huge area. So just one one quick other thing. What is the order? What do we do first? Do we put on tefillin first or talus first? Okay. So what do you do? Everyone puts on the talus first. Okay. I was actually wondering today. I saw someone in the shining. Put on tefillin. Such a guy. Puts the towels just like this, puts on film, and then he makes it. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, so if you, huh? Happened to you today? Okay, that's a, that's another that's another, that's another, that's another, that's another mice. You know that it happens. By the way, there's a mice. There's a mice that the old, old Kolzim once uh, once came into the base madish. Came into the base madish. You saw a yid sitting with his towels like this on his on his thing in deep vacas. Deep takers, good fatah. And the uh, <coughs> what's that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and he's good fatah, but he doesn't really say. He, so he, he goes to Davin after Davin, he walks over to the Yid, or it's the next day, and says, "Yid, I saw you. I saw you deep takers. I saw you say fatah. What were you so? What were you thinking about? I saw you. I saw you kavod. I want. I would like to have such kavod. I saw you. So he said, uh, "I'm very embarrassed." And I told him, bro, he says, actually, you know what? I had my towels on my shoulder, and I was thinking, did I just finish the opening? And I'm wrapping <laughs> I'm putting it away. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm just starting. <laughs> this, for that, you need a big Vegas. Okay. So, now, the truth is that if you look at Shogunar, if you look at that film, the basic of says, for sure, you put on towels first. And then you put on film because Mayim Kodesh Mayim Kodesh Mayim Kodesh means you go you 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 go further in holiness, right? And film you just also learn this you just learn that in the Megillah also the Gemara talks about this Tashmisha Mitzvah Tashmisha Kedusha Tashmisha Mitzvah is like a talus. That's the Zrakim Tashmisha Mitzvah you can throw out when you finish. We don't, but you could Tashmisha Kedusha, which is like the two is its film is already is is, is a Tashmisha Kedusha. You have to be in Ignazim. They have to be they have to be buried. So it's minakal or kavod. You go from mile to That's the that's the and that's the way shochnar rules. You have to go mile to However, there was a minimum kabbalim before diary to put on the to put on film and then talus. Why? Because of pisod. Talus just just if you learn a little bit, just use your imagination. Talus makifim. So makifim means that it's something that's surrounding. That's called the oyasoyim. It's something that's that's even higher. So tiln is moichin, which we said to learn. We have to understand a little more. Tiln is moichin. So if that's intelligence, that's pinimi. So first you do, first you put on the, first you put on the, 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 the yeah, the moichin. Then you go to a higher level. So my level is actually you should put on tiln. You should put on the talus afterwards. Um, from there, from there is there is already pass. From there is a forward. The everyone does it this way. Besides this year, that you put on first the talus first. And then you do Tfilm, because Maya Makoidish. And because Talus is also connected, even though it has to do with the highest, which is like the level of Soiviv, the level of transcendence, that's why it's Makif you, it's surrounding you, it also has to do with the Munapshuta. And they're interconnected. Because sometimes the highest and the lowest are interconnected. And this is a guy with Alter Rebbe, in Tanya, there's a Lashon of Alter Rebbe in Tanya, in Perek Mamalov, where he talks about Tfilm, that. Uh, that tefillin has to do with drawing down from levatel itself to nullify yourself in divine intelligence, right? That's the idea of tefillin. And then he says, okay. Then he says, 
And then you recover all mitzvahs. So that's that's like the, the order we'll go first to Halas and Tzvah. That's the way we do it. So, what I just the, the Nikud that I wanted that's, that's interesting is that sometimes what you think is the lowest is the highest, and something you think is the highest is the lowest. So, this is what I want to This is a very important Nikud in Taurus Amal Shem, Taurus Achsimus. That when you see something that looks this way, sometimes you think, okay, that's so simple. I don't know, actually, that's actually the highest thing. And some person that's, you know, jumping around and closing his eyes, that's kind of, no, that's not the highest. Right? Sometimes we have, to, we have to know how to put on different glasses to see. Sometimes what seems to be the highest is actually the lowest. What seems to be the lowest is actually the highest. This is one of the big chidush of the Torah So, the Arizal himself talks about the bottom, about the, about the boxes of the tulum, a shame Okay? But he doesn't say what exactly are the bottom. Look at look at the shtickle over here is from Daikh Sasakha. Daikh Sasakha is it's a it's a mimer from the Samach Tzadik, the third Khabad Java. And uh Tzmach Tzadik actually explains the shtickle of the shtickle from Dari. And look on the top, page thirty-six, mm-hmm. where the line is. So you say that, So okay, so you have the oisius. You see so the oisius, you have it? Mm-hmm. Okay. The oisius, the letters are already the manifestation. That's already the black fire. That's who my cloth. But where is Oasis? Where is the Oasis drawn on? It's drawn on the cloth. It's drawn on, on the on the white space. Shehulavim, which represent is which is white. So that's when it says like right? When Chazal says says that it's That's black fire and white fire. So the white fire is actually higher. You can't read the white fire because that's the definition of a white fire. You have to access it in a different way. But the black fire is written on top of the white fire. So the klaf, rem is, rem is, that refers to something that's completely transcendent of wisdom, of intelligence, of moichin. Right? This is called gagata, like the crown, the, the skull of the head, the, the white space. Through that is drawn down the oisius, which is the, the, the oisius, which is the letters. Therefore, every letter. This is what this is that every has to be mukav vil, and the letters have to have surrounding white. In order for a letter to be kosher, it has to have completely white, which means that it has to be placed within that white space. So what's can, what's holding up the black letter is the white space. The, what's the white space? That's the oyer soy. That's transcendence. Okay, let's go further a little, a little bit further down. Here he says a line that doesn't say. I will oyer habatim. You see that over there? Mm-hmm. The oyer of the batim, which means the skin that you make the actual boxes of the film. Hulamaylamoroisis, which is going to be even higher than oasis. In other words, if the makif if the surrounding, what's holding the oisius is the cloth, what holds the cloth? The bottom. So the bottom has to be something that's even more transcendent. The Hainishun Bechinus Makifim. It has to be on a level of a higher level of Makif, right? Now, we just said, we just said that white was the Orient soil. Black is, the, that's what I want to say. As long as the highest could be the lowest, the lowest could be the highest. We'll see in a second. Actually, we don't have to see. We can go right to the next page. The next shtickle, and then we'll go back to this. The next page, which says, Tikkun Zoya. And then we'll go back. So we're saying the boxes should be white, theoretically. Uh, theoretically, you could, but you could not make them white. But it doesn't it have to be, be white. Based on this. Yeah, it doesn't have to be white. Wait a second, wait a second. But today, the mini Yisrael is, and this is the way it's custom, customarily, is we do black boxes. So the shtickle, Tikkun Zoya, Tikkun Ayin. Shakesri law. Listen to Lashon Azayim. Shekesa Yilah, which is the ultimate transcendence. You have the next page? It's on a, yeah. Afagav the Yu or Kadmon. Even though that it's the highest light. The original light. Or Tzach the Oy Mitzuchsach. It's like a purely pristine, clear, transparent light. Yu Ukum. Kadmon Yilah Yilah. The fact is, it's actually dark. Why? 
And everything that's that's emanated, all the lights that, that are hanging off it, so to speak, and all the things that are because exactly it's like what we we'll call a black hole. A black hole. Mm-hmm. In other words, sometimes it's so transparent. You ever look at the sun? This even without the whole black hole uh, idea. Sometimes the energy is so intense that it collapses within itself. Okay, that's like a black hole. But you don't have to go to so far out the things. Just sometimes if you look at something that's so bright, it blinds you. And it blinds you, it actually makes you dark. Right? So the whole, like you're actually having this week's parasha. And that's, that's the Makas Choyshech. The Makas Choyshech and Oibim Meshvoysim was actually the same light. It was light because they experienced it as light. But the people are not equipped to see it. If you look at the sun, if you're looking with sunglasses, then you can look at the sun. If you're not looking with sunglasses, you get become blind. It becomes dark. It's the same light. Right? That's why it says in Medish that the difference between that's what it says in Medish, the difference between that the Chazal say the difference between Gehenim and Ganeim. It's actually the same the same oil appears to one person as Ganeim. It's the same oil that appears to someone as Gehenim. Right? To some person, to some people it could be a light that's illuminating and a person that's not equipped to see that light it actually is overwhelming. Right? So it becomes dark or light. Which means which means that that when we talk about the makifim, we'll say that there is the makifim of or of lovan, which is the apparent white light, which is the cloth, and then there is the the makifim, the higher level of transcendence, which represents the button, which is makifim like rechokim, like higher level of makifim, that it's so white that it appears to us as black. You happy? Okay. And then he goes right there and he explains a little bit about the about the, the midas. But we don't have to go to that. The same thing also Ritzuas is actually made from the same thing. The Ritzuas has to be black, which is, it's also made from the cloth, which means that it comes from the place of the white, right? The, the Ritzuas is made from the same quality, same thing. It comes from white, but actually it has to be black. So we have the same two, these same two things, which means that it's rooted in a higher place. Okay. Now, what does this actually mean? Tachlis. So Tachlis. It means like this. Half this it means like this. The idea of putting on film, what's the idea of, of what's the what's the kavana putting on film? So the kavana putting on film is as follows. We function in a place of Midas, which means that we put in a place in Midas. You know, maybe we should this maybe go there, then we'll go back. I'm not sure. Um, okay, we'll start like this. We come, we 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 function a place in Midas. What does it mean? Function a place in Midas, because the world is created in six, seven days. And you know, you say the air is. There's there's Eretz Yisrael is a land of seven, and ultimately it's a land of Eretz is a land of ten, which means and why didn't we conquer the land of ten? Because the land of ten, the three Eretz and Eretz the other side of the Jordan represents Chacham Bin Adas, and the Eretz Shiva Momim, the land of the seven, represents Chesed Gvurit Versas Chavisa Machos, the Midas, which means that what we were able to conquer is Midas, we weren't able to conquer Moichin. What that means, a very, very simple language, if you want to like Mamish reduce it to Mamish simple language, is we have two problems in this world. Two big problems. Okay. Number one, we're reactive. 99% of our life is reaction, is reactive. Reactive means someone tells you something, you react. Someone doesn't tell you something, you don't react the same way. Someone looks at you this way, you react. Someone does something to you. This is we live in a reactive mode. Okay, which means we live in a place of midas. And our midas, our seichel, our intelligence, usually serves our midas. Which means you feel upset at this other guy, at this other person, and therefore you try to use your intelligence to figure out a way how to, you know, do something to it. Or figure out a way to, to get out of the situation. Right? So your, your, your intelligence is serving your midas. Your, your seichel, it's really, it's called seichel shed of midas. It's not, it's, 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 it, you, you have seichel, you have intelligence, but 99% of your intelligence is wasted or used to figure out your midas. You're feeling good, bad, your emotions, basically, that's where you're functioning. That's the, that's the one thing. 
So what we're we're what we're chesed, what we're missing, we're lacking in this world, is the moich, the intelligence. And that's why the, that's why Hashem created the world. That's the way the world was created. Now it means that the 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 surah of the man, human being, has has some some you know the 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 the, the posture, if you wish, goes the way we develop as human beings. We first lie, then we sit. Then we stand. So when you're lying down, right? First is, is the shechiva. You're lying down. When you're lying down, your whole body is on the same level. The acharayim and the rosh is on the same level. That's the way we start life. Then you sit up, which means that your main position is on your acharayim. But you have a little bit of intelligence, which is some form of like you're becoming a little smarter about yourself. When you finally can stand up, then we say that the moyach lev kovid, which means that there's is a vertical surah to the person, which means that really the moich should be the highest. Then it should come the lev. Then it should come the kavod. That's a melech, right? Moich lev kavod, which means it's moving, it's moving in that direction. The problem is, and that's not a problem. Is the issue is that uh, most people don't have that that drawing of moich. The second bigger issue, which is actually the bigger issue, which is the root of the issue, is the root of the issue is because the kesser is not revealed. What's the kesser? The kesser is the intention of creation. Like if you knew why you were created, then you can use your intelligence to make yourself to be created that way. Like what, what's your title? Why was it, why were you born? Okay, you could say you're an accident. Okay, there's a lot of ways to say that. But if you have, you say that there's an intention. That Barajah's Bar Lakim is with an intention. That the world is not random. So what is your intention? Not the world is a, in a cosmic big world. What is your intention of being? What's your reason to resent the trial? What's your, what's your reason to be? What is that? And this is, by the way, it's not, a, it's not, it's not like a, a it's such an easy thing to say. It's a, it's a hard thing. And 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 the, the Bnei Soscha and the Yigid Pirka brings down that Moshem said, Moshem on his deathbed, Arash's voice said, "Now I chap why I was born, like now I understand why I was born, like why I had to be in this world, my particular." So this is a big avoidance to understand. Take what? Why do I have this body, this person? Why am I related to these people? Why am I living here? Why are these my children? Why are these my siblings? Like what's this whole? Parts of this whole structure to understand it well. So, what is what is the what is the concept of anachas film? What do you do when you when you when you're putting out film? When you're putting out film, you're drawing down from the bottom and the cloth, which represents the keser, the intention, which is the the, the rotsim of Hashem, the type of Hashem, the desire of Hashem that Hashem wants from us, and then you're drawing it down into the oisius. The oisius are the yutke vavke, which is the intelligence. The Torah is giving is like the map. Is telling us how we do this, and when you're putting on film, you're drawing down keser moichen to where where you're drawing it down. So this is what you're going to do. You put it on, let's say, on your head. Let's talk about film shurash. You put it on your head. You're putting in the makam azachira in the front, the makam azachira in the back, place of remembrance in the front, the face on the back, and then it's tied around your head. Okay, so that those two straps will be chesed givura. Okay, that means that the right that comes the midas that are flowing out of the moichim is chesed gvura. It comes to the kesher of the till in the back, which is the place of tiferes, which is the place of the unity between chesed gvuras. So that's why it's a kesher. It's a, it's a knot. It's chesed gvura as it together. Then chesed gvura now flow down to the right side and to the left side. To the right side you have netzach. To the left side you have hoid. Okay, these are all the midas. Where does that have to go until? So in the shulchan aruch it brings down that generally you should go at a right? Which means the tabor is your belly button, which is your place where you were fed. So you're creating a loop of recreation. In other Rishonim, it's already brought down the Goyim. They say that the right side should go ad makam mila, which is that you should go to the place that not only where you were created, but where you can create. So what are you doing when you're putting on shalroish? You're drawing down the keser, the intention of why am I created, understanding. How I'm supposed to live, and that the fact now that I know why am I created, and I'm drawing it down into all my midas. That's the, that's and that's Chaya Melech. That's the, the life of the king. The king, which means you in this this in this marshal, become alive because you're not alive. The reason why you walk around depressed or unimpressed or not or other other reasons or lack of days is why you're walking because you don't know why am I here and I don't understand how to get there. This guy say, okay, you're here because of this, but how do I get there? What's the tools for me to get there? So what you're doing when you're putting out the film, you're drawing down that particular awareness into yourself on a very uh, 
let's just say on a very cosmic level, on a very like on a super spirit, spiritual level. Tzul Shiyad has another, has another thing. Tzul Shiyad is, I don't want to get into Tzul Shiyad, it's a whole Arichas, but basically Tzul Shiyad is like to make sure that you tie your Midas correctly, like your Midas are bounded in a correct way, like your emotions are in a correct space. So when you have, when you gain new intelligence, it actually has a cleat to, to, to receive. Let's say if someone tells you, let's say you need therapy, let's, I don't know, and, you, and someone says, okay, I think this is what you have to be doing. You say, okay, that's not have to do me. And you say, okay, it's excellent advice, but you don't listen. The reason why you don't listen is because your emotions are not there, right? You, you, you're not emotionally ready, equipped to receive that information. So the tool she had is to make yourself equipped. You're tying down your midas. You're saying, my chesed, my gvura, my tiferes, is all connected to Hashem. That's the tool she had, my actions. I say, now I'm ready, I'm tied to you. Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm open to receive. Like basically you're tying your hand down. That's literally what you're doing. You're saying, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm like, I'm, I'm a ready, I'm a vessel to receive. And now I'm putting on a shorosh, which is more free flowing. Right? That's the whole idea of shorosh. And it's moving. It's going all the way to my taber, all the way to the bottom of my bris, And it's, it allows me to create and recreate. Okay. Where exactly do we, where, what exactly do we do with these two points, especially the point in the back? We, we create a kesha, right? A tying. What is the idea of, of a knot? So let's just read quickly. So here is from a sefer called Chayse Shal Malach, which you should get. Makom Yishal Kesher Umam Yishma Tachas Zeroish Bokal Arish Nifshkiz Matzavah. That's the Rama writes. Okay, there's a rule argues with that. Okay, so that's on the bottom, right underneath the skull. That's the place that's connected to Das. Amoy Chakot and Kefish Huskel Lil. Now Amoy Chadas. We said Amoy Chadas. The front right, the right side of the brain, left brain, Chachol Bina. Then the frontal lobes is connected to Das. But we just said also that there's a small part of the brain, in the back of the brain. That is also connected to to das, and that's why interestingly, we're, when when the the Rishonim talk about the etzim luz of the bone, there's actually two opinions in the Rishonim. One is in the front of the head, one is the back of the head, because they're both both makom das. Um, and das that's the place of of the achor, right? Where a place where a person, a, a place a place that's connected to a person specifically a person's memory, which is etzim luz nitzam amish tachas roish. That's the etzim luz. Which we said that's the machlekes and the mikubalim. Where that's my Where's that loose bone? Which is connected to the place of eternity. That's the loose bone. Something place is eternal. Shikha, for forgetfulness ain't shikha lufnei kisach v'dechad. The whole idea of forgetfulness is pare. It's lashon oyer. It's shikha. Shikha is klipa, right? Shikha means forgetfulness means that you're not living fully. Because if you're living fully, that means everything that would happen is already present. And the reason because we don't have memory is because things are past are dead. <clears throat> but if you're living in a place of, of oneness, of unity, everything's remembered, right? That's that's the quality of, of remembrance. So that's connected to eternity. That's the immortality. The, uh, the, the lose ball. Chesam Mason. That means that's that's the immortal part of the body. That's what Dari says. They actually put the place of the back kesher in the place of the loose bone to awaken that consciousness of non forgetfulness. That's evolution. They mark it with kever. That's why I go feel the chiv to chesam eisim. The kesher is all the chayim nitzchem. That's the connection of a, of a person's body to chayim nitzchem. So you you do a kesher. Okay. You make this. You make this knot. By the way, you make a knot both in tefillin shiyah and tefillin shoroish. Not to get into this, but the tefillin shoroish, the tefillin shoroish, the kesher has to be more kiyumi. Has to be a, a, a stronger. Has to be always there. That's why there's an Avonanezer, you know, the famous Avonanezer, if you borrow someone's tool, you make it bigger, it could be in Ayotzeh, because that's has to be a cash to give me. Many of the Paschal argue with it. But at Tfilin Shal Yad, it says, you should actually tie it. There's an opinion in, in the Bali Atos, the Bali Yom Tosis and Menachas, it says you actually have to, every day, undo the whole tie and put it together. And you don't have to do that, but Kshartam is actually something about the Kshir. The Kshir of Shal Yosh is a more permanent Kshira. It's connected specifically to the back of the head, which is the Makim Azikar. There's a Maisa, I'll give you one last marker, and then we'll go back to what we talked before very quickly. There's a marker like this. Oh, actually, we have to go to the Balsham also. There's a, there's a, there's, there's a Maisa, there's a Maisa, the Maisa like this. That was once, the Rebbe Rashab was once, someone once came to the Rebbe Rashab and showed him a letter, like a, a journal, <clears throat> And told him that that uh, that this part of the brain, the back part of the brain, is connected to memory. And therefore, when a person wants to remember, the nat- when how do you put your head when you want to remember? If you want to remember something, look up. You look up. That's the natural thing. You look up. You start to remember it. If you want to be my eye in something, you actually look down, right? So this is what he said because the back of the head is connected to memory. 
This we told the Rebbe Shabbos. The Rebbe and the Rebbe Shabbos said it's not a big deal. He already says the the Mitzvah Rebbe writes in Torah Shmuel. Shmuel already writes this, and he said it already says in Kadmonim, but he doesn't say we're in Kadmonim. It says it already says in the Rishonim. The Rishonim already write it. I think this is this piece. This is Shvili Amunah. This is safe from Kadmonim. This is a grandchild of the Rosh, a male Davi. He was Spain, from Spain, Toledo, one of the big Bukabolim, and he wrote a safe called Shvili Amunah. It's a very interesting. It's, I don't know. It's an interesting safe. It talks about. Uh, about science and about uh, Gilgulim and the Fashas. And he has over here a shtickle in a Siv Revi that he writes, Okay, we don't understand exactly what he's saying. But I just want to say, He says that, He says that, Therefore, when you pick up your head, it opens up a certain canal in the back of the brain that allows you to remember. When you want to try it in the Kavits and try to think very deeply, you put down your head, and therefore that part, the other parts of the brain like are activated, and that's the way it works. Some type of physiological phenomenon that is connected to the brain, that the, that the, the Kesher of the Tefillin, when we talk about Zikaram, is actually connected to this little part of the brain, in the back of the brain, that's actually physically connected to, to memory. Somehow, there's a whole other study about like acupuncture, but I don't want to get into this whole thing, that actually you're touching the certain parts of the brain that activate parts of the memory. Now, this could be seen as a very abstract idea, and the Balshemtiv brings it down, Mamish Dugris, very, very Dugris. And he said, the Kshayat Malizidah, and Nimsa Kosm Shem Rabbin Balshem, you need Kshir Sil Shayat, the idea of Kshira, when you have to, Kshayat, we have to Kash and tell him, so Yad, Kamoy, Echash and Echash and Moy, Chakash and Lizayad, just like a person that has a wound, let's say someone gets an injury. You have to, you have to, you have to bandage. You have to make kasher, right? The dimension of ches, the din of, the din of refua. She yachzer chazal yikshir. So the same thing also that the idea of, of, of there's a chalishus because it's a place on nefesh, whatever. For, that's for a higher reason. Idea a kshir yimsha chayil chadash. The kshir actually draws down new life, which we said. What is new life in the in the Oshah? chias? Chias is ma'ichem. If you go back to the page before, there's actually a tour. The tour brings down the chas sitzis. Not in Hichas Tfilm, brings down in Hichas Tzitzis. Dugma Ladavik Adam Hamazel Chaver Alim in Echad. If you want to remember something, I say, please remember this. What do you do? This is an old mini Yisrael to do this. You actually tie an Achikosha Kasha Ba'ezer. You some tight on the knot. Kadeshi is Kano. The tying of that knot allows you to remember. So the, actually, the physical act of tying is an act is an act of remembrance. Okay. So basically, to chazer over what we just said in a very simple language. To make it very clear, what we're doing, what we're putting on films like this, there's a place of forgetfulness, and forgetfulness means on a deep existential level of forgetfulness. We forgot why our tachlis is, what we're here for, and what's the kavana, and how we have to, how do we achieve it? Comes along the midst of the film and it's like this: we're going to put on the film. I'm sorry. The second point is that we're also reactive, which means that we always come from a place of midas. And the second, the first point is that we actually don't have the we don't have the kesser, we don't have the revealed purpose of what our life is. Because we don't have the revealed purpose. I don't know exactly. If you would know exactly why you why you were created at this second, every single moment, you'd be alive. You'd be on fire. It would mean that you would never be tired. You'd always have, remember everything. And your life would be in, like clicking on, on the highest level. Why don't you? Because 99% of the time, you actually forget. Why am I here? Okay, really, if I make a difference, I care. Who cares? Me, whatever, etc. All the problems that you have, that you go, you know. So this is this is the the, 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 the reason is that you don't have Kesser and you don't have the Moichel to understand it. What's the Mitzvah Tzvillin? The Mitzvah Tzvillin is... You're putting on something that represents the hamshachas akeser and the oir asoivin, which is the the, the 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 black, which paradoxically, in Torah Sachsidus, the black is actually the highest white because it's so dark, it's so light that it's blinding. You're putting on the keser, which is the bottom, the makifim. The makifim then has, which is the intention of creation. The intention then comes down into the cloth, which is a, another level of intention of a, of a level of a keser, which be then eventually becomes revealed into the into the shemus yudke vavke. Into the twenty-one the names of Hashem, which is the shame that's created to birth, to Ela, to, to creation. And when you put them on, you're drawing down now moicha, new moicha into your life, new chayes. So every time you're putting out the film, you're drawing from the intention of why you're created and how you reach and you access that point of your creation. So you're drawing down keser and moichen. and that's that's what you're doing through actually making a kesher, through making a, a knot. The making of the knot, maybe you're not tying it every day, but the making of the knot is a visceral, physical way. Of tying two things that are separate and pulling them together, so that's what that's what the Baal Shem is saying. You're making the knot, 
understand what a knot is. What are you doing when you're not? You're taking something that's weak or something that's separated, and you're tying them. That's exactly what you're doing too. When you when you're pulling it, and you're making that knot. You're drawing down that that combination. So the physical sensation of putting on the film when you're putting on the knot, especially because the knot of the head film is pressed against the place that's connected to zikarim, which is the place where you lift your head and you remember that place that's connected to the etzim aluz, which is the, the the your your immortality and your 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 emes, your real chias. Maybe she should hope that you should take a put on film on another whole madrega, and she'll be mam shechol the chayes. Exactly. Reason and invention. Shabbos the Moichel is revealed on its own. The Kesser is really revealed. Shabbos is Kesser. Already, we're already there. Hopefully, yes. Okay. So, Chama Chama is important. Chama Chama is important. And the said, if you put on. Put on tefillin chalom moed, you're b'chayv misum. You know that. It's the one place that the 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 Beis Yosef quotes. The Beis Yosef quotes. This is Beis Yosef. This is not a makubel. The Beis Yosef quotes the Zoyer that if you're put on tefillin chalom moed, you're b'chayv misum. Chayv misum is a big thing. I know b'chayv misum. Yeah, yeah, right, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Does mean my my feeling is possible? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Does mean my feeling is possible? Why? Because it doesn't happen. Chasu how do you know? Look at you. You don't look like such a bad Jew. Thank you. But, but, like it's Zeicher is supposed to do it and gonna bring you, or it happens by itself. It happens by itself. You open it up. If you have a kavana, yes, it opens up. It's the act. It's, 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 it's an accident. Him, it's a turned off. Change the batteries. <laughs> <laughs> so you say. You say maybe it's possible. Change the batteries. Yeah, well, what's your position on the, on nittel? Today is actual nittel now. No, that's the Russian nittel. No, but that's the Chabad nittel. Oh, there's, the, there's two nittels. There's two nittel. Oh, oh, you hold two. two the, no, the, uh, there's some people that are. So some people. Some people are mocking me. They're saying the other do both. So it depends. Some people are don't do it. Do do exactly. Some people are very machmir on this mitzvah. Yeah, they, but what's the, what's the first nittel? Yeah, the second. There's the, there's the Russian nittel. Tonight. The Russian nittel is tonight. I do from the second to the first. But the the the, the in Chabad they follow the first the first nittel, not the Russian nittel. In Russia they follow the Russian nittel. Right. Wherever you are, you follow the nittel of that makom. What's, what's, what's up, Shant? Right. It's, 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 oh, it's, 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 it's concept like this. The Torah is our uh, our sword against Tuma, and our you know koyach uh, against Tuma. You should be so bothered by why not learning. And the, 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 what's what's the whole the whole thing of la'av uh, What's what's the idea? That's you don't do something, and it causes you such pain that you don't want to do it, and that's the highest mitzvah. See, Imam the highest kedusha. No, but I get every time I say, let's give the in the morning. <laughs> okay, so that's it. <laughs> no, but, no, but, no, but what's the, what's the, what, what really is the, the, the what, what's, how is it, uh, why, why do we it's care very, about It's people? very complicated because, because Yeshu, it's a very complicated issue because Yeshu is a Yid. It's not, it's not like a simple, uh, it's not a simple problem. We don't have, you don't, you don't do for someone else's, uh, you know. Svadim keep nickel? No. So I'm keeping the It's only Ashkenazim, only people that lived in in Ashkenazim, in, in the place that they were Christian. Same place where they were What? Same place where they were Tzvillin. Correct. Maybe that's all the problem. So um, they, uh, if you look at the Mishnah Brewer, by the way, there's a very very simple reason of Nittel was that on the night of of, of Xmas, there was it was Sakana to go to the to base Medish, and the boys used to go to yeshiva, and and Goyim would come back after 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 mass. And they would beat up Jews. That was like the thing. That's what you do. That's like, you know, you get drunk, you beat up a Jew. That's like, you know, that's what you do. Instead of football. Right? Yeah, thank God it's football, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The football, football, by the way, saves America. That's why I'm telling you, when there was no football in America, they ride in the streets. No, it's not, it's not possible. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. Thank God this country loves football, baseball. Let them jump and scream and dance. It's the best. It, saves the country. it saves the country. Because people have testosterone. They need to do it. So it's either, either rooting, looting stores and breaking glass or screaming at a football game. So anyway, so that, that was really the market for it. That, in other words, the halachic market from it came from that source, and then, and then the, and then there was a, an overlaying, more mystical uh, understanding that you might have chayes a klipa. Why you might have chayes a klipa? Because, because there's an idea of the Russia lonely sapir chukai that that the Gemara says that Russia is not a learned Torah. 
There's an Indian attack. And, and why? Because uh, there is only other side. Because the, the Russia is receives like some some energy, some, some and it's like a unique look inside. It's like it's drawing down from a place of Russia. But only if it's a Russia, meaning if you if he's if he can become a Russia, then he can't become a tzaddik. It's only a person that can be a tzaddik and become a Russia. It means that he has already the koyach to be to be one way, he can go the other way. And therefore, a person that has such koyach. If it's done in the wrong way, it can receive nourishment from this from this concept. So that's that's the concept, <clears throat> and therefore there was an idea not to learn where to start, when to start. No, so starting the second overlay started by the Rebbe Hashab about uh, about 100 years, 150 years ago. Is that that reason? That was the real. That was the real market. No, Nitzanach started way before. It started in Europe. Okay. No, okay. Europe European Jews never learned Nitzanach. The yeshivas were always called Nitzanach. It was dangerous. Dangerous. Yeshivas are closed. Yeah, the, the, the Mishnah writes the, the yeshivas are closed. I guess if you learned in the yeshiva, you never left. And if the dormitories in the yeshiva, you could leave. But most boys, been, there was no dormitories then. They lived ten, it makes sense. So it started like, very. Whatever That's it, exactly. So you keep it wherever it was. Whatever the night was mass. That's where they kept it. In Russia, they kept it this. And mm. then in America, they kept it this. It's the difference between when he's born and when his bris is. You know that. Yeah. Well, New Year's is a New Year's. Your body wasn't born, but it's not. Huh? Neither is. No, it's not born then. 20th is not it. Okay, around there, whatever. That's the thing. It came because of the. the that truth is, I don't really care, actually. The day becomes big. Ah, okay, fine. It's, it's, it's the winter solstice. He wasn't born then. Yeah, right. Who knows when he was born? Who knows? Nittel means that it's hung, anyways. If you say nittles with a tough, no, it's it's so strange that we're, we're, we're so busy with this. With this. We're, no one's so busy, by the way. No one's so busy. That's not so busy. Not so busy. A little busy. A little busy. Yeah, that's yeah, so busy. The fact that people are busy with this in general because of shit. I have a, 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 if you talk about it, you should learn to support Sadiqim. I think it's a tikkun. Tikkun, because. No, support Sadiqim. No, support Sadiqim. No, you could even learn chassidus technically. But, but, but yeah, if you I'm learn sure support tzaddikim, what's the whole problem? The problem of uh, Mashiach Hashkarim had big neshamos. That's why they 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 they, they yeah. yeah they were they were they were they had big potentials. That's why they made, they make such trouble. Koyach and Shabbat These people were very very powerful people. It was it was messed up, but uh, and they needed they needed big tikkunim. And I think a ticket for that is to is to read healthy supports so they can. I heard the Kashmir. Yeah, I think the fifty shikhanura. Yeah. Uh so I didn't have to nettle from the Russians. And the square, I think also get nettle. Yeah, most of that. Square is also Russians. Yeah, stolen kids tonight, but I gotta No stolen no stolen tonight also because they're Russian Sidim. But uh Chabad, when they came to America, they they changed. No, they, okay. So the Chabad Russians, say, again, the people that are Makhvid Babish, they do both, you know. <laughs> but the general I, is that you I do a cartoon. I got a proof, by the way. I'm such a, you know, such a, such a huge stomach talk of my learned play. It doesn't keep The truth is, in America, it's stuck in that such a thing. It's not, yeah. uh, Nittal is not so, uh, it's not such a Christian, uh, it's all here. That's his own little Nittal. It's, it's, uh, no. It's your own little? It's all little. Even, I don't think so. It's Christmas, it's not a dominant uh, culture. Comes you know, the bells and roof, when he came to came to Israel, he moved to Tel Aviv. You know why? It says because there's no kirchas there. It's the only place in Israel, they're not a church. Little did he know what happened to Tel Aviv. <laughs> 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 Okay. Maybe there's a lot of kedusha. That's what happens. A lot of kedusha. So we even go crazy. They don't have to handle the kedusha. Okay. Now the pshat from uh, um, this week, someone said a speech that why the shalosh has four bathroom and the shaliyam yeah. only one. He says you have to know how to differentiate a fit person. So to your head, you have to. There's four levels. But with the hearts, or oh, okay, very nice. Iron hearts. That's nice. I mean, it's, uh, very nice. Or mutton. <coughs> I heard a mice that someone sent me. There was a Robin Bar uh, in Flatbush who saw. Well, I guess it was printed. Maybe everyone knows it. Robin Flatbush. You saw there was an old, uh, an old Russian Jew in the back of the Spanish. Came to show one day. He's there one day. Next day, next day he's wearing a palace. No tefillin. Day after day. 
put over them the wrong skill one. Uh, oh, let's launch one. So he's like, no, no, let's go. So he asked someone else to go over. Okay, they arranged that day. They're just going to buy him a pair of tefillin, give him a pair of tefillin. Presents him the tefillin. He's totally emotional. He can't get over it. He doesn't know like what to do with himself. So he sees him putting on tefillin, says the bracha, tears pouring down. He knows the brachas by heart. He says it perfectly. Rob doesn't know what to yeah. make of this. After the avening, he goes over to him to say, my hi. He said, my father bought me a pair of tefillin for my birthday in Russia. That day he was taken away. They took my tefillin away. And then I never saw my father. Never saw tefillin again. He's like, oh, this is big. What about the brachas? Because you think I can put tefillin on every day? I said, I never missed saying brachas on tefillin for 60 years. I said brachas on tefillin every single day. Without putting them on? Without putting them on. I thought about the mice he said about the Bashem. Wow. With those different mice look with the, with the sukkah and with yeah. the, wow. the, 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 the shaykh. He said, said, he said brachas every day. And, yeah, and he, <laughs> <there's> <laughs> I read there's this, a, I was I'm dumb there, down. There's a chul from the chazonish, the chazonish, the menish chai. So as a very shy shy, he said he uh, he, he checked his tone. Technically, you don't have to check your tone, right? Uh, that's why you don't have to have sheer to it. Whatever, it's only you can you can work for hundred years. The Gemara says they used to take um, tefillin zem ba'abe zikni. They they want to take tefillin. Technically, I mean people have checked it, but it's not halachically. And the guy checked the tefillin after thirty years. He's a fifty or sixty year old man. He checked it. There's no parshas. There's no parshas. He came to the Ben Ishchai. He asked him a shayla. What should you do? He's taking. What should you do? He's a kakas in the Malach Tfilm. So the Benishchai said, no, no, you put on Tfilm for the past 40 years. You bought the Tfilm, you had a Kavod to put on Tfilm, you made the Brach, maybe she's okay. It's, it's, uh... Chishilas. Chishilas, yeah. So if you put on Tfilm, it's not... He did the, he said, that's a Maisel. You did the Maisel. You put on Tfilm, you put the Bashas, you did it. You didn't know, so... Someone brought, the first Tfilm that I got when I was about mitzvah in the Bob, right, was a Tfilm, right, so whatever I said, I used to put it on. So, like, came to America, somebody told me maybe we should check the film. So, it's paper, paper, so you have a real, wow. real, 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 real